Dear kids, Assalamu alaikum. Today I will tell you the story of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Thousands of years ago, they all lived a people who used to worship idols. Their idols had been carved out from stone and wood and kept together in what they considered a holy place. Here the people would gather regularly and present offerings to their idol. Nuh alayhi salam was a prophet sent by Allah to guide these people to the right path. He would tell the people that there is only one true God who deserves to be worshipped. A few people among the downstrodden and poor listened to him and followed him. But the majority continued their pagan ways and were not ready to believe in him. The disbelievers would call Nuh Islam a liar and spread all sort of rumors about him. Even one of his own sons named Canaan left his father's side and joined the disbelievers. When the people saw the Prophet Nuh al -Islam was still preaching the message of Allah, they began threatening and beating him. They would say, If your message is true, tell your God to send his worth upon us. Prophet Nuh al -Islam prayed to Allah and complained to him about the disbelievers. Allah commanded him to build a large ark on a hillside. When the disbelievers saw this, they started making fun of him. Look, Noah is building a ship on dry land. He has surely lost his senses, they said. But soon after the ark was ready, dark clouds covered the sky and strong winds started blowing. Then it started raining, but this was no ordinary rain. This was the reign of punishment that had come to wipe out the disbelievers on this earth. Nuh al-Islam and his followers embarked on ark. They took with themselves one pair of any type of animal in accordance with the command of Allah. The disbelievers who had initially thought that the rain would soon stop became worried when they saw the water rising. They realized that this was a punishment from Allah for their disbelief. But their stubbornness had led them to stick to their pagan ways, and they were still not ready to accept the truth. Nuh al Islam called out to his son, My son, come on the ark with us, and you will be safe. But his son replied, No. I will climb this high mountain, it will save me from the rising water. And thus he was drowned along with the other disbelievers. After 40 days, the rain stopped and the water began to recede. The ark came to rest on the peak of Mount Judi. Nuh al -Islam and his family and companions disembarked and brought the animals out of the ark onto the land. They began rebuilding their homes and their lives.